I'm Jess Kentman, guided by Equus, and I'm here with your Horse Wisdom Healing Message for the week of September 14th. With me I have Stormy Behind Me, Surf, and Summer and Moon are making their way over here. Um, and I have moved these guys to this uh, location, which is just directly west of our farm. Um, last week because this is where they generally fall graze and it just feels like such a um, a special and sacred place and that almost feels like what the energy of this well this month especially but in particular this week it's like there's um, new revelations <laughs> that are essential and at the same time sacred to us that are coming to light this week, that are coming into our awareness um, because of all those emotions that have been um, resurging or arising within us kind of around the first couple weeks and based on everything that's going on in our world and the world around us um, that's igniting its fuel for um, igniting a a passion that has kind of been burning inside of us, but it's it's felt like it um, has been put on the back burner and it's almost like it's being reignited this week in a way that we didn't even realize that it had gone out. Um, and to share, I guess, kind of the basis of the healing message this week with you guys, um, it's like there's a whole bunch of stories that feel all very much related to this. Um, but in around this time, I get the sense that there's some foals that need to be weaned, although I realize that um, I have two foals that are still to come sometime within the next few weeks, so there's that. Um, but the foals to be weaned need to kind of find somewhere that is um, safe for them and able to nurture them. And actually that space feels like it's noche and magic, so my stallion and his son um, that that's maybe where they, where they will go so that the mares can come here and just kind of allow themselves to um, be held by this property and by this space and by the other horses, um, which actually feels very relevant to us right now. It's almost like the tides are changing, the weather's turning, and we, we're being invited to hold ourselves um, in this space in a way that really is allowing us to nurture whatever that is that we're able to notice for ourselves in relationship to that passion, um, that sense of passion and purpose, I guess. And it's funny because every Monday I wake up and kind of after the weekend, it's like a regrouping. And I wonder to myself, like, what am I doing? <laughs> Shouldn't I be doing something more? Um, and at the same time, I love everything that I'm doing. And as the week goes on, I get involved in, in my life, whether it's in the farm or with the horses or with my kids. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that any of those things are quote unquote making me money. Um, but it's the energy that I feel really in alignment to invest my own sense of self within. And by the end of the week, I feel so fulfilled just by following whatever it was that's calling to me through that week. And so each one of these avenues um, has been helping me this year really find what it is that I want to be doing in the world. And so if that, um, to kind of share that out word for you guys, and it feels like I'm a little bit losing my voice, um, not that I have a cold or anything, but it's just, it feels kind of cracky and like it's not really there anymore right now. Um, because in, in all of these places that we are finding ourselves, we're actually having to let go of, of a different space that we had found ourselves in because that's how we grow is by finding ourselves through a new pathway, through a new space in a new form that is more authentic and true to who we are. But when we do that, we have to let go of whatever it was that was where we were, if that makes sense. Um, but it's finding, I just kind of got the words like ringing in our ear um, or ringing true. 
And so it's like even my voice is having to find kind of a new octave and wave of way of speaking um, in the world in relationship with this because everything is in relationship with something else or something new or something old. Um, but when but relationships change and evolve and grow and there is spaces and places that relationships need to grow through and grow from in order to evolve. Um, and so there's that sense of loss too that's accompanying whatever is happening for you this week. And it's kind of been coming through in the last few weeks. Um, but in order to honor that sense of loss, we have to tune into our body and find where it is that we're feeling that sense of loss because when we tune into that place within our body, we actually find information that is helping us to move through that place of loss um, in order to find a new pathway in, like to our future, to where we want to be moving, where we're inspired to be going. Uh, but that always comes with leaving something behind. And even if it's moving out of a place that um, was not as fulfilling as this place that we're going to, there's still that recognizing that that place held a lot for us um, back there. But in order to move forward, we still have to let that go. So that was kind of a long way around of coming back to this. And Surf's made his way down to the water and I can hear crickets out of my left ear. It's like they're just right here below me, but I can't see them. Um, but that feels like this part of the message too, is that there's things that we can't necessarily see, but we can sense and perceive that is um, coming to light in this new pathway of where we want to be going in the world. And so with that all being said, um, I have a, an online and virtual retreat that's coming up this weekend, September 17, 18, 19, or 18, 19, 20. Um, and the final one will be held on the 22nd, the fall equinox. And if you can't make that live, I really do invite you to sign up to receive the recording. Uh, there'll be eight sessions that you can, if you've signed up to receive the recordings of these sessions, they will be yours for the rest of your life. And they are, um, pathways and access points of activating a new level of you within the experience is the best way I can put it. Um, and I'm really excited to be doing this. I didn't get to do my annual in-person retreat, but I've always actually wanted to use this space behind me where my horses fall graze um, to bring a way of retreating for people um, into the world. And so I guess this is a way of doing it through um, a virtual platform this year. And so if that's of interest to you, there will be a link below this video that you can find the more information on that. And if you're watching this video later on, um, please use that link to find out about this, the retreat that went on and how you can access um, those recorded videos for you, uh, regardless of when you're watching this video. So that is the Fall Equinox um, Alchemy Retreat for 2020. And there's still more to come and it's, it's just all starting to finally move through me and come into my awareness as to how to create different pathways and avenues for sharing what I call this sense of horse wisdom, which is everything from all of my experiences with my horses, with healing, um, with creating relationship, with riding, with groundwork, with breeding, with everything that they've been in my life to support me to grow through. Um, so that is still to come. So stay tuned for these weekly videos for your healing message that's sharing Horse Wisdom Insight. And they have all moved from when I came here, they were in that little space. It's kind of just a little pen that's off of that shelter of the barn and the gate is open, but they were all in there. And so they've all kind of moved out in the world um, and are exploring this space in a more, um, a more expanded way. So that is, I guess, the basis of the message for this week and much love to you from myself and all of these guys. Um, 
and I look forward to hearing about how you're moving through your week too. All right, take care till next week.